Focus groups are a way to produce ideas and gain impressions about a specific product or a service in an interactive group environment. The participants share their impressions, preferences, with guiding from a moderator. In comparison to a requirements workshop, a focus group can bring you direct requirements and can be considered a means of elicitation. But, again, in comparison to a requirements workshop, a focus group can also be a, a means by which we actually go ahead and get an opinion tied to different solutions. Here are some focus group ground rules. Number one, make sure you have a representative group of participants. A focus group typically has six to 12 attendees and you might want to have some reserves in case some of your invitees can't make it to the session due to unforeseen circumstances. Number two, make sure your participants are properly briefed of the topic and uh, what you expect from them actually. In addition, you should pass on some background information if indeed you expect a certain type of preparation from this populace. Number three, usually the group is heterogeneous, either coming from the same stakeholder group, be it demographics, department, type of user, etc. Four, make sure the ground rules for the focus group are clearly spelled out in order to maintain expectations. Number five, the session should have a finish time established. Usually the sessions are between two to four hours. Number six, it is, it's a good idea to have both a facilitator and a scribe as it's very difficult for one person to perform both duties properly. Number seven, make sure the group receives some feedback after the session. Some pros and cons to that approach. Pros, one can obtain quite a bit of data in a short period of time. It allows you to get impressions not only from the individuals directly, but the observation of the interaction between the participants can be invaluable. In addition, you can easily identify some influencers simply based on the content of the session. Cons, groupthink, where contrary opinions are difficult to foster. In addition, a heterogeneous group does not supply divergent requirements. For certain requirements, an intimate environment is required. Hope you found this description of focus groups to be useful, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lecture.